So are you looking to purchase a projector and everyone's telling you it's too expensive and hardly anyone's got any time to set up the projector itself? Luckily, over many years of my career, I have reviewed 100 projectors in this channel and few have stuck with me. So I'm going to condense all of these core cool lessons that I've gained from reviewing various tech reviews to make your decision process a lot easier. So I promise you, the things that I'm going to be sharing with you today will give you full clarity for your decision process. What to look out for when purchasing a projector and if this L500 projector is fit for you. Before we start with the review, first let us be on the same page by answering these questions. Before purchasing anything, clarity is the key. For example, if you go to a restaurant and you are really hungry, you ask the waiter that you want food. Will that give a clear indication what type of food that you would like to purchase? If, for example, the waiter brings a cheeseburger instead of spaghetti and you're not satisfied, will that be the waitress's fault? Of course not. You've, you didn't give a full clarity or full instruction what exactly you wanted to get out from that order. So just like the projectors itself, the first thing you need to start considering when purchasing a projector is what is your budget? What is the ANSI lumen output of the projector and as well as how is the audio quality? And finally, what is the user experience? When I say user experience, I mean, is it user friendly to use the projector itself? Because some projectors, you have to start using dongles as well as other um, platforms in order for you to start you enjoying your home experience. Clarity is the key in life. If you don't have a clear sense of direction what you're looking for, then you will end up paying over $100 in your life by purchasing something or by doing something without having a full clear picture of what exactly you're looking for. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this projector. Now the AXA packaging looks nice and simple. Uh, we know that this is an LED based, so it's not ANSI Lumen. So that's something for you to bear in mind. The package looks quite huge compared to the previous packaging. Um, it has all of the specification on this side here and then furthermore on the other side these are the top features for you to focus on it has 5g wi-fi and it also comes with 1080p native resolution it has electric focus so this is a, some sort of a, something we're going to test out if it's an auto focus or sometimes you have to do it yourself and it can project up to 120 inch and one good feature that i'm really pleased to see that it has the android tv that's built in so but something for you to bear in mind is android 9 so it's not android 11. again this is a very old um, software but it's better than nothing and it also comes with 5 watt bt um, speakers let's quickly unbox this as soon as you open the package you're welcomed with these two um, papers so this is just a feedback form uh, if you like to um, give any feedback and obviously the user manual. So um, underneath the paperwork, it has the main project itself, which we'll look at in a bit. Um, underneath that, it comes with this white box. And then inside, you would find this AV cable, which nobody uses nowadays. Furthermore, it has the power brick as well as the um, wall plug um, something for you to bear in mind this is the European standard rather than the UK. Finally, inside the box, it comes with this um, tiny remote. The remote is quite small, it doesn't have the YouTube or Netflix button, but it has the focus button which we'll test it out later on. Um, it doesn't come with battery, but I have put it to um, AAA batteries um, in order for us to use it. Now let's unwrap this um, projector. Um, the projector feels pretty heavy and um, feels very solid in the hand. Um, the material is made of plastic. Compared to the previous projectors from AXA, they were pretty small. Um, very compact but this one is huge and it weighs 2 kg as shown here in my scale. Underneath it comes with three uh, screws where you can put it against your tripod. I don't think it's necessary but one would have done um, the job but we're going to use this either on your tripod or on a, on a table. And then at the back it has so many grills to let the air out for cooling purpose and a speaker. So. Again, the ports is straightforward. You have your DC power input there. You have USB type A, and you have your HDMI cable for outputting any gaming console, or in our case, it could be Chromecast. And it has your AV if you want to put any cable to connect to your um, speakers. And it has some sort of a 
speakers at the front um, and then we're going to measure with our measuring tool to see how much ANSI lumen it will um, output. We understand that this is an LED projector and it's um, according to the specs is 500 LED but we're going to check out based on ANSI lumen how much power it will output. So straightforward um, we have mounted on our tripod we have the choice to do it on our table so we're just going to test it out on a tripod it does look like it's wiggling that's because of the holes where the positions of the holes and um, so we're just going to put our cable and I have the choice I can put my um, Chromecast if I want to. The projector is out of focus um, in order to focus all you have to do is just press the plus and the minus that brings it closer to the focus so if I'm going too much out of focus so I can go to the minus so that way it brings all of the text to focus so I can see now it's gone completely blur I'm gonna go to the opposite direction and the text is looking a little bit more sharper but I'm gonna carry on until I'm satisfied that looks much better look at it. it looks a lot more crisp okay we're gonna go ahead and set it up I'm gonna press yes okay so you can see straight away this is the Android 9 and you have your YouTube straight away right there you have Prime TV Disney and if you want to do a mirror casting you can do that straight away and um, we're gonna quickly um, set up our Wi-Fi just to show you for context purpose it's very bright during the daylight and we have an ambient light on the right so we're gonna test this out during the night to see as well the quality and um, so this is a 120 inch screen um, if, you, if you make it a little bit smaller the screen size the brightness is also going to increase but for now we're going to enjoy the 120 inch okay let's quickly test out the HDMI the Chromecast that we've inputted here so it's totally up to you if you want to use the built-in current Android 9 or if you can, if you would like to use the ex external device so let's quickly test out some of the image by going to YouTube playing a couple of videos so this is what you could expect during the daytime again if this is a decent enough as usable um, you can play about with the image quality in terms of the contrast and the sharpness but I think in my opinion this is really sufficient during the daytime and I can imagine during the night it's going to be super bright Silhouettes of you are like a ton Never really noticed what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string you don't understand the pain of brain. Let's take a look at this short video. Oh my god, I'm dead. You're not dead, you've just been separated from your physical form. Like, what? Doing that. I have no idea. You should not be able to do that. She feels amazing. Oh, you're a little scary kid, huh? Look at you. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Here you go. Is this what you want? Is this what you want? Sit down. The AXA L500 is a great projector. It's got really durable quality, but the material that's made of is a plastic. It reminds me of some sort of a speaker. The brightness itself is decent. It comes with 500 LED. So this is not anti lumen. However, our test shows this. Looking at it compared to the previous AXA, you can see that this AXA here is tailored for a more portable. Look how small it is compared to this one here. So it's like 10 times bigger than the, the previous projector we reviewed here, P8. So if you do want to see this P8, which was really good in my opinion, I'll leave a link in the description. The image quality is decent. It's not one of the best I've seen, but the sound quality is something that I was really impressed. So it comes with a five watt speakers and the speakers are really strong and uh, it has really nice tone into it. However, it does have some negative. The remote control is a simple remote without any um, key buttons like YouTube or Netflix. To conclude this video, the AXA L500 is a great choice when it comes to uh, mid-range projectors and also with the sound quality. Finally, this projector is easy to use. If you're looking to buy a home cinema projector 
with great image and sound quality, then this would be for you. And they provide great user experience thanks to the intelligent Android 9 technology.